Right guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been a bit quiet. I've got an herniated disc. Give me sciatica, so I'm in a bit of pain. So if I'm miserable and grumpy on the video, you know why. But I've been speaking to a company online. I'll put all the details in uh, in the description. But they are what they called Car Audio Warehouse off eBay. And they reckon they've sent me all the stuff for the radio. So we're gonna find out now. This could be exciting. Now we're just going to build it all together. So we're going to plug it into the back of the radio and then the attaching loom from the radio, from the standard loom to the radio loom. Now it's a bit confusing, but they give me instructions. I'll work out eventually. And then hopefully we will be cooking with gas. <laughs> We've got some it. <laughs> Woo! Have a look. Oh, there's a CD in it for us. Bet your diaries are okay. Probably have to cut that bit out. Right. Let's have a look if it goes off with the ignition. Yes! <laughs> we fucking sorted that. Lovely. Right. Oh, let's get you again. Off camera, I'm gonna. Uh, cut this blue wire and connect it to this one apparently that gives me so I can control it with these so I'm gonna do that off camera once I've done that I'll check back with you guys all right we are smashing it now <laughs> right we are in radio controls are working absolute beautiful I'll have to cut this next bit to show you because I'll keep getting copyright on the video otherwise but we're on radios working Did a thing. <laughs> Winner. Uh, parking sensors aren't working, but we're back a bit better. I'm going to have a look at the fuses. I reckon that's got to be it for now. Uh, we're pretty much done. Let's get her touched up a little bit more. She's out the door. Well, I'm on the daily routine start up with the Audi. And uh, it looks like I thought she was done. Pretty much there now. She's giving us one. Looks like we've dropped her. But thinking. From looking in through, it looks like the uh, coil spring has slipped off the shocker. Right, well, let's get the wheel off, see the damage. Right, if you've followed this journey, you know these wheels are an absolute nightmare to get off. You don't just sit on the hub, you've got to balance it in thin air to line it up, and it's about 800 holes. But we'll get there to add insult to injury, the jack don't fit underneath, so I've had to get the one out of my van. But once we get that up in the air, we'll get the toy jack underneath it and then jobs are good. We'll get the stand underneath. But me being me, I've not put the jack in the uh, far enough over so I couldn't get a stand underneath either way. So we did a lot of faffing about in the rain. Why not? It's just what we love to do. But eventually we'll get the, we'll get the wheel off. Let's have a look at the damage. There we have it. That is meant to be up there, and it's obviously snapped. There's the uh, bit that snapped. Let's pop now. It looks like we need a new coil spring. Have they? Now, as well as a coil spring, might as well give it a clean up under here when we do it. But it does look a little bit rough, doesn't it? But that seems to be the joy of cars for you. I thought we was done, we was ready to sell it. Came out to do the last few touch-ups and it was on its ass. So, hopefully next video we'll get that done. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Keep on living the dream. <laughs>